characteristics of crustaceans apart from being a delicious treat to our taste buds crustaceans are also a very unique creation of nature take a look at the characteristics of crustaceans described in this animal sake article in the animal kingdom crustaceans belong to the subphylum crustacea of the phylum arthropoda and form a very large group of aquatic creatures this group includes creatures like lobsters crabs barnacles shrimp etc the reason behind writing this piece of information is that crustaceans have unique characteristics unlike any other animal group in nature about 50000 species belong to the group of crustaceans in marine biology their sizes range from about 0.1 m to 12.5 ft with various animals showcasing a number of different characteristics most common characteristics of crustaceans are mentioned in the following paragraphs so read on and find out interesting facts about them general characteristics there are other groups of arthropods which are the insects chelicerates and myriapods that have very different characteristics than the crustacean however they all belong to the same phylum and therefore might have a few common characteristics it is known that most of these creatures are marine animals but some can either be terrestrial or parasitic in nature they have a very unique set of crustacean features and peculiarities irrespective of being aquatic or terrestrial crustaceans have typical digestive systems and typical ways of reproduction and movement to give you a glimpse of the basic features of crustaceans we have put together most of them in the coming up paragraphs take a look head and body the most distinctive characteristics are observed with respect to the body structures of crustaceans they have to compound eyes each body segment known as somit bears a pair of appendages they all have very well built heads and the head segment bears two pairs of antenna the mandibles and maxillae the antenna form the first two pairs of the appendages through which the food weather temperature and dangers are detected after the antenna the next pair defines the mandibles or jaws which are used for holding the food and tearing it the next two pairs are the maxillae used for feeding the other part of the body is also segmented which comprises the thorax and the abdomen the thoracic segments bear legs periapods walking legs and maxillaries feeding legs the abdomen bears pleopods and ends in a telson which contains the anus many crustaceans have additional abdomen features i e legs used for swimming or swimmerets they also have the setae thin whisker projections that extend from the head the exoskeleton another very common yet unique one of the crustacean characteristics is the exoskeleton it covers the entire body of the animal including the head appendages thorax and the abdomen these animals do not have an internal skeleton they are covered by a hard and calcified covering which is made up of limestone commonly known as chitin the reason nature has provided these crustaceans with the exoskeleton is because their internal systems are very delicate and are open immediately below the exoskeleton they have an open circulatory system no heart and a two part nervous system one ventral nerve and ganglia system thus these delicate inner parts are protected by the exoskeleton as a soft exoskeleton forms underneath the old hard exoskeleton the old one is shed this is known as molting reproduction and sexuality crustaceans follow sexual reproduction wherein the males and females mate to produce offspring through eggs oviparous the eggs are usually carried by the female under her abdomen till they hatch there they undergo a series of metamorphoses The two sexes are always distinguished by the swimmerets or pleopods where the first pair of pleopods in males are meant for sperm transfer. A few crustaceans are also known to be hermaphrodites where the organism consists of both the male and female reproductive organs for example barnacles feeding and diet crustaceans are hunters like most other animals 
they catch their prey with the help of their appendages they hunt for small fish or other aquatic animals however the smaller crustaceans are known to be scavengers as they feed on dead material these animals use their setae for creating currents in the water so that their prey doesn't escape and ends up into their mouth their diet can be smaller animals and sometimes plankton you can have crustaceans as pets they are very interesting creatures found in nature and studying them can be a real pleasure some of these hardy little creatures live several decades with proper care